Yep, there it is, in all its beauty. Come on, Rambo. You're coming with me, you son of a bitch. Where I grew up, like the, the area was a bit rough. I mean, I don't know nowadays, but from when I was a kid, it was shitty. There's nothing going on. It's just like a desert town. It's like a place you pass through, you know? A friend of mine from elementary school, during the summer, like I went over his house and he was skating and I was like, oh, that's cool. And my mom found me a board on the street and I just started skating and that's pretty much how it started. Hey, who's dropping into the biggest part of the vert ramp? You are, you already fucking called it out. All right, I'll do it. Jeremy, say I won't. I won't. Hey, say I won't do it. The first few years of skating, I just skated mainly by myself. My first actual video that I watched, like, and it's with knowing what it was and whatever it was, misled youth. It's a pretty gnarly video. Like, there wasn't that much shit coming out. There was like just four on ones, and teams would come out with videos, and that's it. Wish I'd have remembered to bring my board. Hobos used to just fucking hang out here, do drugs and get drunk right over here. This ground ha is like as shitty as it was when we were skating. And we'd like just skate off this thing onto this shit. And then we'd skate like this four stair with the crack. Didn't give a fuck about cracks back then. Bring the flat wire, skate it off that. Let's get the fuck out of here. Dude, this dude's fucking lurking on us right now. I had like a fun box, had a flat bar, my brother made me one, and then my neighbor also made me a, a really good, like a rail, it was like, it's like knee height and fucking like 12 feet long, it was super long. It was the best flat bar ever, it was so good. But my dad threw it away. He just didn't care for my skateboarding, so he just was a dig and tossed it. I think my, my mom and my dad wanted me to graduate high school. I had a different calling, I guess. Yeah, this is where I would skate as a little kid. That was a step up. Yeah, just like this was all waxed up, that little one. Like if like you learn it on the little one and then take it to the high one. Just learning like backside tail slides, crooked grinds, nose grinds, grind the top ledge and drop down to the bottom one. It's kind of unreal, I'm gonna take a photo of it myself. Stop shaking me, Rambo. Like skateboarding was skateboarding. Now it's something completely different. Like it was like the thing that like no one else did and like you kind of, to keep away from like jocks or whatever. Like it was kind of like a subculture. Now it's like the dudes that talk shit about skating or wearing like thrasher shirts and it's been infiltrated by, by everyone and it's not, it's not yours anymore. It's, it's this open thing that's not as, as genuine as it used to be. How's everyone doing tonight? Are you taking off right now? How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. From Dakota? Heard you've been like getting wheeled out, thrown up, fucking by security. Shut up. That's what I heard. Hey. And don't come at me like this. I just saw you, you haven't hung out for a while either. I know. I'm a bitch. I need to take this shit down though. That was the worst set we played in a long time. Um, I don't like Los Angeles. I don't like Orange County. 
and I don't really know that many people here, so I figured it'd be a good place to retreat. Artist AJ sent me that Conan the Barbarian thing. Let's see what else we got here. I'm a big fan of Sylvester Stallone, so I got a Rambo figurine. It's one of two in this house. I got this from my friend Duffy. She gave me some ceramic lions. David, when he was staying here with his ex-girlfriend, they would give me little animals in formaldehyde. Here's a little chicken. Here's a bat. And uh, here's a little pig. These are pretty cool. And I found this in a gas station. It's a weird naked lady with a serpent surrounded by her. She's got a nice body, though. A nice, voluptuous woman. I'm a fan of female nudity art. That deer head was actually given to me by an old roommate of mine. I just, a lot of this stuff was in the living room, and I'm redoing that, so I had to, like, store it. But this was actually a present from the Hager brothers for a trophy I won a few years back. So they gave me a fucking wolf's face. Stay gold and brainwash, Tony Machine video. Yeah. I've tried really hard for all of them. I think with me turning pro and like me being in a, the position I was at the time, I definitely wanted to keep the momentum that I had. I felt like going. Sometimes there's you're just like really, really on top of it. I felt like I was really feeling it around that time. And I just like got on Tony Machine, so I was really stoked to get on Tony Machine. Really proud and really wanted to do really good for them. I was on Baker before that, and then, yeah, I, luckily Toy Machine accepted me and put me on the team. I feel like I feel like a real team. Everyone like has a decision in it and has something to say about it. My little gallery of, of, of photos and memories. There's some big, this one is minor uh, in Turkey, and uh, he's a very photogenic man. I was spending a lot of time at Brian Herman's house when I was like in my 18s, 17s, and this is him smoking pot. I, since I was a kid, like it wasn't like I was aiming to be like a photographer or anything like that. I just shot everything that I was doing. You look back at it and you're kind of like, holy shit, like remember this, remember this fucking dude that like broke into the room or whatever? It's kind of fun. I write like the songs lyrically and the arrangement is usually me and then I basically bring it to them with like open, like, yeah, what do you guys think of this? And it's definitely an, an open process because I don't really I don't feel offended if they bring it up or they're like, oh, this song's no good or whatever, because then we just work it out.